This is the visa for Transnistria, the place that doesn't exist, and we're going to explain it to you in this video. This is the Dniester River, which gives the name to Transnistria. Transnistria means uh, you know, beyond the Dniester, and Transnistria is mostly located on the east bank of this river. Squeezed between Moldova and Ukraine lies Transnistria, a tiny strip of land on the banks of the river Dniester. Back in the 19th century, this land was contended between the Russian and the Ottoman Empire. We are at the Benderi Fortress, which was built by the Ottoman Empire, and it was actually just right at the border with the uh, Russian Empire. The fortress of Benderi saw keen fighting between the Turkish and Russian forces. Eventually, the Russian took over when they annexed the entire Bessarabia in 1812. Transnistrian is a self-proclaimed independent republic. It's not recognized by any country in the world, but de facto is independent from Moldavia, to which it formally belongs. The origin of Transnistria as we know it today is from the fall of the USSR in the early 90s. Under the USSR, this region was part of the Moldavia Republic, but uh, when Moldavia declared independence, uh, the people from this land decided that they didn't want to belong to Moldavia. Only a third of the population is Moldavia, another third is Russian, and another third is Ukraine, more or less. So there was like a, a war in the spring summer of 1992 that was under the prevention of the Russian military. And since then there's been a ceasefire that still uh, continues today. De facto Transnistria is a country functioning on its own with its, its own currency, its own police, its own military and its own institutions. This is the parliament built during the 80s. You can see the Lenin statue in front of it, uh, which is still standing. On top of the buildings, you can see the Transnistrian flag alongside the Russian flag, showing the strong link that there is between these two countries. The guy behind me is the founder of the city. The name is Shukarov, if I remember correctly. He was a Russian general and uh, the city was founded during the 18th century uh, as a strategic uh, outpost during the Russian wars against the Ottoman Empire. And the three flags behind me are the flags of Abkhazia, South Ossetia and the Nagorno-Karabakh. Uh, which are three non-recognized republics. The first two are uh, in Georgia, and the third one is the disputed territory between Armenia and Azerbaijan. They are flags because they have a diplomatic relationship with Transnistria. Coming to Transnistria is like going back in past times. Transnistria is one of the only places in Europe where travelers can still see former communist symbols in their original place, like statues of Lenin everywhere. This is the House of Culture here in Bandari, built during the Soviet time as a way of, of entertainment and maybe some propaganda. On this one here we can see like uh, on my right uh, there are like the uh, working class working and on the left is working class like entertaining. During the years I write about Transnistria, a uh, definition like uh, being a mafia state or the European version of North Korea, the reality is very different. It's now very open, it welcomes tourists, it's a safe place, and if you're in the region, it's really interesting to come here and visit. The place is safe. 
day. It's, you know, people are very nice. Again, uh, for the rest of Ukraine and, you know, aviation, probably geography, knowing a little bit of Russian is always kind of like, you know, a, a very helpful. <laughs> So if you decide to come to Transnistria, we definitely suggest to, to contact like agency or agency because you won't have a clue of what is around you and uh, and you won't be able to reach different sites.